All right, I was just asked this question uh, maybe an hour ago. I had an application call with one of the coaches that um, ended up joining my program, but he asked me something that a lot of people ask all the time. He said, well, Ben, what if my clients don't want to pay online? What if they want to just keep doing it the way that they've been doing it, which is cash or Venmo um, or writing a check? And uh, I'm gonna get into today's answer. And if you're a coach that wants to grow your business, this might be one of the most important videos you watch on my channel. All right, now the first thing that we need to like hammer into your head here is it's a question that you should always ask yourself at the end of every week, which is, is this my business or is it my client's business? And the reason why I start with that first is because if clients pay you however they want to pay, then it is not your business. They are setting the terms, they are setting the rules, they are setting the expectations over you. and. At that point, it's out of control. Your clients are in full control of how you get paid. And I know I have a bunch of videos on YouTube where I talk about like, you shouldn't do things that way. You shouldn't get paid cash or checks. I've told the stories about how clients owe me thousands of dollars. Like I've already done that on this channel. But the thing is we gotta start first with, is it your business or is it their business? If it's their business, Asking your clients to pay you online and pay you like through Sam cart or something like that. Um, if they don't want to do it, then they're not going to because you're not in control of your business. Now, when you sack up and you decide to change how you operate, right, which is a necessity. If you want to grow your business, you always have to evolve and change. Like if a coach wants to make $10,000 per month, for example, right? And right now they're making $3,000 per month. They cannot get to $10,000 per month by doing the exact same thing that they're doing right now. It's just not gonna work, right? You have to change, you have to evolve. You have to be willing to take ownership in your business and say, I have to do things differently, right? And when you recognize that, right, as the business owner, you should say, you know what? This is my business, I need to change it. I need to operate in a different way. And if my clients are in control of my future, if they're in control of my finances, if they're in control of how they pay me, then you know what? I can't evolve what I do. So this is a, where you have to make a clean break between how you do things now and how you want to do things, right? That's the first thing. Second thing is when you take ownership with your business and you realize that it's yours, it's not theirs, right? You are providing the service, right? Uh, I mean, I can't go get my, my oil change and tell the guy, yeah, I'm gonna send you the money on Venmo. The, the guy who's servicing me is gonna be like, no, you're not. Like, you're gonna use your credit card. <laughs> like, he's, he, they're, they're not gonna do that, right? Um, and this is why like, you have to treat it like how other businesses treat their customers, right? So when you have rules in place, when your clients are like, yeah, we don't want to pay online, you need to sit them down and say, look, if you guys are gonna continue in my program, this is how we're gonna do it, right? This is how we're gonna do it. And you lead them towards taking the steps that you want them to take. You don't say, hey, do you guys wanna pay online? Because if you say it like that, no one's gonna wanna do it, right? First off, people hate changing, right? Customers hate changing. But when you lead them, um, in a way that's simple for them, all right, then they will do it, all right? And I've seen this happen like clockwork. Like if you're a part of my program, you see coaches like all the time, they'll talk about how they're transitioning away from the cash, away from Venmo into online billing, and their businesses are so much easier when that happens. But first they have to decide it's their business, all right? It's not their client's business. Your clients cannot dictate and determine how they pay you. Right, that's just long term. That's not going to work. Now, if you're trying to make like some side money and stuff like that, like of course that can work, but that's not a real business, right? That's not a real business, and that's not like 
that's not going to do any good for you in the future right and you you've heard me in the past on this channel i talk i've talked about this all the time like if you're trying to run run a side hustle that's only going to go so far if you want to run a real business you can take that as far as you want but this is one of those things you have to realize it's my business and second i'm going to get my client clients to switch over to it based on how i lead them right now this is a huge fatal flaw and mistake that a lot of coaches end up making they'll say, all right, well, we're going to switch over to online billing. And then what they do is they hide behind their computer, right? They take out their keyboard and they're like, all right, well, I'm going to send a mass email to all my clients and tell them about the upcoming change. Now, 80% of those people won't open the email, right? Out of the 20% of people who open the email, probably, I don't know, 50% of those people will actually read the email. <laughs> and out of that, right? Probably going to have most of those people have questions about why you're switching, right? So this is why when you make changes with your business, you have to do things in a way that like actually support your clients, not just send them this weird message. Like you need to be able to get on a call. You need to be able to lead them through the process. You need to show them what the steps are. Um, you need to take the time to do those sort of things or else you're going to lose a lot of clients. And I've seen this happen all the time. Like I see it happen all of the time. Coaches that aren't a part of my program, they'll be like, Hey, well, I sent out a mass email to coaches or to, uh, to parents and they don't want to pay online. And I'll always be like, did you talk to them? Did you talk to them in person? Did you talk to them over the phone? And they're like, no, I'm like, cool. Well, I can guarantee you most people that's that you sent the email to did not even read it or they have questions so they're going to hesitate so this is why again when you make changes you have to be a leader it's your business right and you can't hide behind that stuff and coaches who do like they don't make the necessary changes to evolve their business to grow and scale to the next level right you just can't do it so i hope this helps um i know this is like blunt for me to talk about it this way but the thing is if, if i sugarcoat it and you watch this video you're not going to get the results that you want right and if you shy away from confrontation with your clients and you don't lead them then they're going to pay you however they want to pay you and guess what guess what happens every year every july 4th week every spring break week every thanksgiving week every christmas week every holiday where people are out of town you won't get paid unless they physically see you and if you're comfortable with that, keep doing it that way. If you want to make way more money, do it the way I'm talking about, right? That's all I got to say for today's video. If you have questions for me, if you want to jump on a call, go to the link in the description. You can check out our application page for my program. Um, been running this program for multiple years, helped hundreds of coaches already. Um, we're helping a lot of high quality coaches right now. And I think you'd be a great fit if you're willing to put in the work and make these types of changes that I'm talking about, right? That's it for today's video. I'll catch you later.